two-pounder. This is more of the size we're used to seeing, before all the big ones were hunted out. Whoa, walks pretty slow for a creature with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. Well, he does have to carry that big tail. Whoa! How do you do that? Got it! The big tail flicks, and the lobster shoots backwards. That big tail is full of muscles that flex and sweep the water forward that pushes the lobster backwards for a quick getaway. That is so cool. Powerful tail muscles contract, causing the fan-like tail to push water forward, instantly propelling the lobster backwards through the water. Fantastico! On it! I'm not interested in any witty bitty lobster that would fit into those twaps. <laughs> I'm looking for the last largest lobster. Another one, same size. And neither one is gonna back down. <laughs> and I think we're gonna find out how they use their claws. The squeeze of a lobster is so powerful. If our hands were that strong, we could crush a walnut with just a squeeze. But why are the two claws different? One sleek and thin, one big and bulky. The big one, the crusher. That is used for crushing things. Well, the little one, the pincher, is used for ripping and tearing. Claws, claws, and more claws. I didn't know a lobster was so strong. A regular muscle head. <laughs> Finished. Coming at you, Jimmy. And teleport. Yes, a lobster power disc. <gasps> hey. Give me that. On adventure with the coolest creatures, from the oceans to the trees. The brothers crack are going places you never get to see. Hanging with your friends get ready, it's the hour. We're gonna save some animals today with creature power. Gonna go wild, wild friends, gonna go wild. Speed and lizard glide, shark and flight and land ride. 